Welcome to this How to Scan for Surgical Guides series, where we will explain how to scan for a particular case. Here we've got a dual sided free end case with no teeth posterior to the canines. This type of partially indentalous patient is very common to us. They often have a long history with several RPDs. Due to the degeneration of the supporting bone and the constant movements of the denture, they often come to us seeking help and requesting implants. Start scanning on the most posterior tooth. Remember to wiggle as you scan the incisors. This will give us the required precision of the incisal edge to retain the surgical guide. For toothless areas, scan as much of the soft tissue as possible because the guide will later rest directly on the crest and get support from it. Use the shape and the volume of the crest, riding from lingual to buccal, scanning the area we need. The same principle applies for all the indentulous areas. Do not trim away as much as you normally would, but keep as much of the soft tissue as possible. In some cases, and especially for edentulous cases, we need to use anchor pins in order to stabilize the guide. Now we have a good, accurate surface to initially insert the guide on, starting on the front teeth, changing to tissue support in the posterior areas. If possible, stabilize the guide by adding bars from tooth supported to free end areas. However, remember to design the bars in such a way that the tongue can fit without any discomfort for the patient. For the upper jaw, it is possible to even position a bar going from one side of the jaw to the other. This also works as a handle. You have now learned how to scan a patient without posterior teeth on both sides. Thank you for watching.